Hello, welcome to the Mr. Kaoru channel. Today, we're going to do an impression of the entire Miyashima Parfums collection. So please stay tuned. Okay, thank you everyone for tuning in. So today, as I mentioned, I will be doing a full-on first impression of the entire Miyashima Parfums collection. So first of all, um, I recently ordered the Discovery set, which she has offered in her official webpage. Her Discovery set, it comes along with her entire lineup, which is 20 fragrances. That is very, very impressive because you only get a fraction of the entire collection, you know, Discovery sets most of the times. You're getting a lot of perfume for uh, within this Discovery set. First of all, I'll just uh, briefly take you through what's included in this discovery set so you're getting uh two uh, boxes and this one is containing the heritage collection and then the kimono collection and actually um there's two more in the kimono collection uh she couldn't fit them in the box there's some recent additions to the collection and then this is the box uh yeah actually it, it came like this so this is the box for the low collection which is i believe is the more um, fresher uh, cologne-like styles of fragrances in her lineup and this is containing six of her collections so i mean anyways um, as you can see the packaging is so gorgeous um, it comes into this black you know shiny box even though it's um, cardboard it's quite hefty it feels well made put together yeah so um she really has a good sense in her packaging i actually have one of her uh perfumes that i have a full a full bottle of um and the packaging there is also super nice on top of all these perfumes uh she also uh, gives you this uh which is i don't know um this is kind of like a introduction of all her perfumes um you know with the each individual i think this is only for the heritage collection though uh each individual fragrant uh introductions right too bad it's in french i can't read it so but i mean it almost looks like a marketing material for me uh maybe she knew who i was but anyways um beautiful beautiful packaging um i just wanted to take that up uh this is awesome uh, by the way, this was actually purchased with my own hard-earned money. This is not in any way uh, provided by her. So this is going to be my very, very honest impressions of her perfumes. So today I'm going to cover only the Heritage Collection, which is 10 of her perfumes out of 20. So I think that's all I can handle in one day. The later half would be the Kimono Collection and the low collection so actually i think she has uh, yeah so this is a little bit of the a brief brief in introduction of each perfume and yeah i have some a little bit of information in Jap japanese as well i think um what i can understand from this material is that her heritage collection is composed of four different series within the heritage collection the first three would be the impression series so let's get into it uh, so i'll start with uh hana hana means flower so flower is like you know it's very broad right it's not like any particular flower she's talking about she's she just made a perfume named after hana which to me is really really difficult okay so this is the first time i'm opening these actually so these are not sprayers uh these are the smaller uh you know the tap on kind of things so hana is supposed to be an elegant powdery floral she doesn't want to give too much in, uh, information about, about her fragrances okay yeah yeah i smell rose i smell i think i smell elang elang um it is very powdery uh there's iris uh components in this i believe it reminds me of more of the classic style um galan kind of uh old you know old traditional guerlain type fragrances more more on that side of things yes this material has a little bit of notes in it so it says uh rose essence jasmine rose absolute so yeah it's all about rose yeah long long yes heliotropes patchouli iris and musk and i really do feel the musk in here it's quite prominent it gives you a kind of a soapy vibe yeah it's quite interesting yeah i mean what i can feel is that her ingredients are really really 
great. I don't think this would be my favorite one, but I mean, yeah, I, I think this is quite solid. I mean, let's see how it develops. Usually her perfumes uh, develop a lot. Okay, so next one is Tsuki, right? Here it comes. Tsuki is moon in Japanese, so another really conceptual theme that she's trying to express. I didn't expect this actually. So Tsuki, uh, as for her, it's a romantic or oriental tuberose. I'm not really getting the tuberosey or rosy opening. It smells like grapes. Maybe a little bit rosy, but I'm not really sure if this ro this is rose or not. And there's a little bit of mysteriousness uh, surrounding it. Yeah, this can be wild leaf, but. Not sure, not sure. So, okay, let me cheat now. It has a uh, bamboo, raspberry, low, rose absolute, jasmine, sandalwood, heliotrope, and musk. I'm not sure about the bamboo part. Raspberry, yes. To me, it came across more as grapes uh, rather than raspberries. Rose absolute, ja jasmine, yeah, jasmine is there. I didn't, it didn't come across to me like jasmine-y. Sandalwood, I'm not getting that creamy sweetness uh, of the sandalwood. I'm really curious on how this develops. The opening is, I expected more something sheepery. Yeah, it's developing. Now I'm getting the roses. I think this is going to develop much, much better than the opening. Yeah, it's very jammy. And the tangy, not zingy, but tangy. There's a tangy sweetness going through. Right, so I mean, that's too key. It's interesting. The opening, it, you know, it's not like that for me but it's interesting um i believe this will develop really well it came across a little bit youthful for me for because of the grapes i guess so next one is kaze okay kaze it means wind in Jap japanese right and then um it's supposed to be a delicate sensual floral she likes to do this i mean she doesn't speak too much about her fragrances she doesn't explain too much um she wants everyone to deep dive in her stuff Kaze, beautiful. Okay, so this one is very, very uh, light. Very light, fluffy. Oh, which one is it? Is it rose again? Yeah, I think there's some jasmine in here. Not that strong though. Um, this is a exotic flowers for me. Yeah, and then the, you know, the light, fluffy, how it comes across. Yeah, and then there's a little bit of uh, mintiness. I'm not sure if there's any men in here, but there's that little um, cooling effect. It's not aquatic, it's not aquatic, but there's some wateriness, which I feel. So, okay, so let me cheat now. Kaze, so yeah, it has bergamot, grapefruit, freesia, lily of the valley, hanoki, cedarwood, and musk. Yeah, so I think the cooling effect came from the bergamot and grapefruit, but did it come across like that? I don't think so. Hinoki, yeah, I mean, Hinoki is, it can be there, but it's so lightened down that, yeah. So I think the cooling effect is coming from the cedar wood. Out of this, uh, the first three, I think I like Kaze the most. Yeah, so there is that woodiness in the background. Cypress, Hinoki. Hinoki is Cypress, by the way. Japanese Cypress, by the way. Yeah, cool. Okay, so now uh, we're getting to the next uh, group of fragrances in her heritage collection. So next one would be Fleurs, so the flower group. So the first one uh, from her flower group is Sakura. So Sakura is cherry blossom in Japanese. To me, um, Sakura, I have the impression of the mochi, uh, which you eat in spring traditionally in Japan. Uh, it's quite sweet. I used to not like that sakura uh, mochi smell to be honest but I mean that that's a whole different story. I mean that as a mochi I didn't really like it but let's see. Okay so this is a very very crowd pleasing. There's a lot of bergamot in here. So is this cherry blossom to me? It's a difficult question. I'm getting a little bit more of that springy effervescent uh, floral and citrusy nuances so what's it supposed to be is a central fruity floral okay fruity it, it's not the tangy uh, tropical kind of fruits i'm sure about that i can tell you this is going to be a crowd pleaser this is very easy to appreciate okay let me cheat now okay so this is citruses 
Rose Essence, Jasmine, Shakyak, I don't know what Shakyak would be. Rose Absolute, Cassis, and Sensual Musk. All of her perfumes so far has a quite bit of musk. So this is not strong. This is not a strong perfume. It's not light. It's very soft on how it come across. Yes, and then, oh wow, I love this. Yeah, I, oh no, uh, now I'm getting the tingles. I really like this one. Yes, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I like that very light, florally, jasmine rose. It's funny because she doesn't mention any sakura here in the notes. So maybe she's creating an accord. Yeah, oh wow, this is nice. This is nice. Mm, my favorite one so far would be sakura. I can understand that people will love this. Okay, and then this is Tachibana. So actually, uh, this is the uh, perfume that I own a full uh, bottle of and I actually have uploaded a full review on this. So if you're curious about this, uh, please uh, go ahead and uh, look at that review as well. Uh, you're getting a little bit more information about Miyashima and her brand. So I'm skipping this one. To be in brief, this is a very exotic, bold Neroli scent. So now let's go to Tsubaki. So I believe Tsubaki is what? what? Uh, Camellia. So uh, Tsubaki is supposed to be a seductive and glamorous Shepra. Okay, so Tsubaki is actually a, uh, it's a spray that helps a lot. Oh wow, this one's quite animalic. Yeah, it has the a little bit of power. Yeah, I believe this one's going to be a one for the a fragrance aficionados. It reminds me of something massively, quite animalic. There's, yeah, so there's leatheriness. Let me tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Tuscan leather from Tom Ford. Yeah, so there's that uh, raspberry feeling and then there's this a uh, leather i'm not really sure how tsubaki is supposed to smell like but there is that flooringness um i think it's jasmine yeah very jammy i think this would do really good on skin yeah it reminds me of massively of tom ford tuscan leather without the smokiness it's more focused on the musks rather than the leatheriness or the smokiness that you find in tuscan leather so yeah, this one's very nice. Um, I don't think this is, would be for everyone. It's very bold. It's very deep, but it's not over pushing. Um, it's not a uh, punch you in the face kind of characteristics like Tom Ford Tuscan leather. There's a little bit more of that raspberry tartness than the Tuscan leather, I guess. A little bit more gently. Okay, I, 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 I'm beginning to really like this one. Next one would be Yuki. Okay, so this is Yuki. Yeah, so Yuki is supposed to be snow in Japanese, so it's from the Colors and Seasons collections. Okay, so this one's also a sprayer Yuki. Beautiful. So it's supposed to be a uh, noble and elegant Fujier. I feel a lot of lavender. I think there's irisy, chamarin kind of powderiness. Kind of relate to what uh, snow was like, you know the powdery kind of snow, fluffy snow. A little bit chilly feeling. There's a lot of citruses in here. Okay, let me cheat. Okay. Uh, Yuki is, uh, yeah, so she's trying to um, express a white out scenery. Uh, she has French lavender, Japanese lavender, woody notes, jasmine, vanilla, oak moss, and amber and musk. Actually, it's fun that she has two, two different types of lavender in here. French lavender and Japanese lavender. I am pretty sure that she has Kamarin in here. She just didn't, didn't mention it. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Dior Om, uh, Dior Om Eau de Toilette, uh, the first one. This is a really, really refined version of Dior Om. If you like uh, Dior Om and you want a more exotic, uh, more fine version of that, maybe this one is for you. Yes, okay, great. Okay, and the next one would be Mizu, uh, which means water. Yeah, so this one's Mizu, right? So this is supposed to be a voluptuous woody lavender. Voluptuous, okay. I think I like this one a lot. Okay, first of all, this is very, very woody. It's dry. Um, you get 
that massive cedary um, impression. I think there's Hanoki in here though. Hanoki, um, Japanese cypress. I think there's cypress in here. Massively cypressy. You get that almost florally tartness from the woods. Dried material kind of, you know, like lumber almost. Fresh, dried lumber. And then you also have a massive dose of uh, citruses, which makes it, yeah, I mean, kind of watery in a way. It transcends me to a uh, very woody forest, green, very Japanese. Personally, being a Japanese person, I re it really does uh, give me a Japanese impression. Okay, now the massive dry cedariness is uh, kind of going away. It's not in your face watery, first of all. So let me cheat now. Okay, yeah, so now I know what I was talking about. So the notes are lemon, pechigrain, honeysuckle, black pepper, coriander, cedarwood, and musk. Now I understand. So this is, um, yeah, the black pepper and the cedarwood. So this is very spicy. That's why I liked it. And yeah, so the greenness is coming from the pechigrain. This one would really um, do good in spring. I mean, this is very springy to me. It also has a very nice cooling effect, um, soothing, very spicy, but spicy, but at the same time, it's very um, transparent. That's why it has the name Meizu, maybe. This is another hit for me. I, I really have to think about this one. Okay, great. Okay, and then the next one would be, okay, this next one is Fledge Vet. So, um, so this one is probably the only, uh, at least in her uh, heritage collection, which is, which the name is actually uh, not Japanese. So it's supposed to mean green leaves in, I believe in French. So this is supposed to be a transparent green floral. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this one's also very, very, very nice. Transparent, a lot more transparent than the Mizu, first of all. Very springy, actually. Sorry, um, maybe I said Mizu was springy, but this is even more springy here. Um, green leaves. Actually, almost um, kind of reminds me of the, the new leaves that uh, sprout in spring. That's what I feel about it. And then there's that a little bit of flory florally background um i believe there's rose in this it's not that green though it's not it's not like green green it's almost a floral more than it's a green fragrance yeah i mean you have that citruses yeah maybe a little bit lemony i guess okay let's start cheating citruses rosewood bamboo freesia green leaves cardamom cedarwood and musk um, I personally don't feel cardamom that much. Um, doesn't give you that mysteriousness that cardamom usually gives. Yeah, and this one, I really kind of start feeling the bamboo. It's kind of a little bit bamboo-y. That's, I can understand that. A lot of citruses to make it very effervescent. I would rank this very highly in my spring list if I were to make one. Yeah, so this was also a very nice one okay and then the last one for today so the last one would be hinoki right so hinoki is a japanese cypress it's a little bit different from european cypresses okay so this one's a spray my, uh, my impressions of japanese hinoki is that it's quite smokier than the european cypresses majestic citrus woody so this is actually the last group of perfumes in her heritage collection which is the sauce bois i think it's um it's supposed to mean in the forest so this is the only one from that group of things this is a hard one um it's it's woody for sure it's a lot there's a lot of dry woodiness cedar wood but it's not obviously a hinoki yeah, some spices are there. So, okay, so let me just start cheating now. Clementine, Hinoki, Amber, and Musk. Four notes. For me, um, Mizu was more woodier than this. Is it Amber? I mean, her Ambers don't come across uh, too early. 
I do think it would become a little bit more ambrier in the dry down. But this one's a little bit difficult for me to express in a way. I'm not sure if it's correct to say that it's smoky or instancy, but there's that kind of lemony smokiness, a little bit tangy. And then you got that very clear greenness. This was actually really soothing. It's really relaxing. It, I really enjoy it. Anyways, very nice. I really do like it. So th that is my first impression of the entire Heritage Collection. It was very fun. Sakura and uh, Mizu would be top two as far as I'm concerned right now. Uh, maybe uh, Tsubaki, uh, Tsubaki will come in third, a very close third. Tsubaki and Tsuki uh, would be uh, the stronger ones, more uh, for the fragrance aficionados. So um, yeah, so overall I, I really really enjoyed all of her creations. I really need to do a more in-depth exploring of all her perfumes. If I have one that I really want to pick up, I might do a full review of that or maybe even buy a full bottle of it. Anyways, um, her discovery set is very very awesome. But anyways, uh, it was a whole bunch of fun um, just trying out new fragrances today. Um, I did 10 today, but the latter half is coming uh, within you know, some time. So I hope everybody would be tuned in for that also. Okay, for today, that's the end of this video. If you liked my video, please smash the like button and also uh, hit the subscribe button for upcoming content as well. Thank you for today and see you in the next video. Bye.